right, now believe it or not, we're actually almost done with the bricks. We've got them painted in, and what we need to do now is just to add a highlight, a shadow, and um, and a little bit of a final splatter just for some extra texture. Again, this is not my ideal way of doing it. I like doing it with a stencil and sponging it in, but sometimes it's just, you don't have a stencil or we don't have access to one or they're kind of old and get dried out or whatever. Um, anyway, we need to do a little bit of a shadow and we're, we'll start with the highlight first actually. So I'm gonna have a little bit of white paint and yellow and I'm just going to mix those together and I'm gonna create a little semi-glaze. So I'm gonna make sure this is pretty watery but not like, uh, not, I, I don't know, uh, not too thin. So I just added a little bit of water to it and that looks pretty nice. I don't wanna be too thin and then it disappears. So that should be good. I'm gonna do a little L shape along all of the bricks. Even the ones that get cut off. I just get that side of it. There we go. Okay, it's as simple as that. Reload when you need. There we go. And now I've created a nice little highlight it's consistent. Remember, the light needs to be consistent. The light source needs to be consistent. So the highlights have to all be along the same edges. Okay. And then what I have here in the corner is, again, just some black paint that I'm watering down and turning it into a little bit of a glaze. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to aim for the opposite L, and I'm going to get the edge of the brick as well as some of that grout in between because the brick casts a shadow onto that grout. The grout is usually indented, so I wanna show that. So I'm going to kind of do a thick line that covers some of that brick and some of the grout. And it's amazing how just this little technique creates a huge pop when you see it from afar, it looks that much more three-dimensional. The way to making something look three-dimensional is just by paying attention to what we call value in art. Value is the lightness and darkness of an object, the highlights and the shadows, all that good stuff. Okay, there we go. So already looking better. And as a last little thing, um, I wanna get a little bit more texture back. And again, um, Bricks tend to look kind of dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that dirty toothbrush that I had before and go ahead and dip into some of the extra white and yellow that I had and just get a little splatter. Look at that, look at that amazing pop now. That amazing um, texture that I got now. Looks awesome. And now I got it on my desk. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I'm going to lay it down here, let it dry flat so none of that drips. And do the same thing we did ah, last time. Okay. Up close. Up close. Okay. I made a painting. Back up. Back up. Back up. Looks pretty realistic. It really reads well to an audience. And it looks realistic. And it looks, it just looks like a real brick wall. So. Those are bricks and that's it. I hope you enjoy this lesson and you try it out yourself. Have fun.